we have many accounts from people now living in the life after this life that children not carried to term for any reason who are loved are born in the next life and grow up there at the same rate they would have if they were born on earth. Their parents and siblings may have contact with them while the parents and siblings are on this side of life. And there is always a wonderful reunion when the parents or siblings join their loved one in the life after this life. The account that follows describes one woman's experience of seeing and speaking to her son who had miscarried, but was very much alive in the afterlife at 24 years of age. Helen Duncan was a 20th century British materialization medium. During one of her seances in 1941 a sailor came through, explaining he had perished when the HMS Barham was sunk. The British Admiralty, worried about public morale, had been keeping the incident secret. Two years later, as an invasion of Germany approached, they wanted to prevent any further revelations. Duncan was arrested and tried under the Witchcraft Act of 1735. The Admiralty's reaction to her knowledge demonstrated that they knew her statements were accurate. Helen Duncan's trial began on March 30, 1944. 22 witnesses described the connections they had made during Duncan's seances with loved ones in spirit. The witnesses told of seeing the materialized people close up, speaking about personal matters, touching, and even kissing them. They all swore under oath that they had an encounter with their loved ones. Below is the transcript of the testimony of one witness named Helen Fry. She testified at the Helen Duncan trial that she witnessed materializations of her sister, nephew, uncle, father-in-law, mother-in-law, and son. A transcript of her testimony follows. Have you yourself been fortunate enough to have any personal identifications? Yes, quite a lot. Who were they? My sister, my nephew, my uncle, my father-in-law, my mother-in-law, and my son. Would you be good enough to tell us first of all about your son? How do you know that he was your son, Mrs. Fry? It is very difficult to explain. My son was never born in the flesh. Albert said it was my son, but he has never had completely his physical body on earth. He said he would try to bring him to me. He tried and my son came. He came and opened his arms to me. When was this son of yours still born, or not born in the flesh? How long ago? He would have been 24 now if he had lived. When you say he was never born in the flesh, you mean he was still born or a miscarriage? Yes. An early one or a late one? Five months. When you saw your son, the spirit materialization, was he being carried by anybody? No, he was not. What form did he take? A grown form. He was like all the others because he is grown up now. That was the only difference, but he was my son, I know. Because Albert said so. I could feel it. I talked to him. He was grown up, you mean, to the extent to which a man of 20 would be grown? Yes, absolutely. He is fully alive now.